So as you can see from the title, this one was quite a crazy one. And this is just basically full optimized chimps gameplay of Glaive Lord being absolutely insane. Um, the buff that they gave it was really powerful. Um, the Glaive Lord just can do so much more with the damage over time, the ricocheting glaives, and I think the orbital glaives got you. I actually don't really even know the exact contents of the buff. Um, I probably should have looked that up. But all I know is that this guy's just cracked. Like, that's literally all you need to know. Um, you could do some crazy stuff even without knowing exactly what's buffed. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do here is this is really optimized. I did, like, three or four games on this run, which is a lot more. Normally, I, I just do one. Um, just do one fun run and go because I'm going to, like, I'm uploading, like, a video every day. So I don't really have time to optimize everything so it's like maximum cash spare but this one was special it was already super high the first time around so like i'm just gonna push this to its limit i'm gonna make a great video and here it is so i'm starting with uh that boomerang in the bottom um that's just replacing any like early game carry so literally the only thing being wasted here is four darts um that's gonna become a kylie boomerang that's good because it's gonna be the 024 because the 022 is good in the early game um so that gets to beat that get the kylie boomerang use that to beat round 40 i only have to spend um like like 500 i think like 400 dollars to beat the moab there which is nice um and i'm not using like Actually, I used one track extension early, but I'm not using those motors early on so they don't, like, rack up and cost a ton of money later on. And I'm not really using the Jerry items because I'm going straight for these uh, key towers. So I get that. I have the more glaives up there that's kind of dealing with the balloons fairly well. I get the village, and now I'm going to alt buff this guy. And I'm using the um, 520, and we'll just pair that with the ice monkey later on. So I'm going to be... I was debating where to put the ice, but I end up going right there. Um, just because I want some of that coverage going into that like bottom little dip where the orbital glaives are going to be spinning. So we got that. I'm going to alk buff um, Glaive Lord. Well, soon to be Glaive Lord. And as you notice, I am not going to get Glaive Lord early. This Glaive Lord is going to be late. But what I am going to do is I'm going to get all of the support towers that I'm going to need for the late game in the mid game. Which is normally when you're doing blackboard is this is something that you should not do because these are like support towers They don't do damage at all. So basically we're going to be just doing our damage with like all the balloon damage is going to be coming from the glaive lord and We're going to have very mediocre damage coming from the the kylie boomerang attack from the moab press But um with a bunch of like pre-testing and stuff like that I know this is going to work for blackboarders. You shouldn't do this so moving on, not spending any money on those motors, being very, very frugal with Geraldo, only like doing the minimum when needed. And when I have like an option, like I could use the Geraldo item um, or not, I just try to RNG it out as long as possible and save that $110. Um, so yeah, basically we got all of our support towers now and we're going to be going for the uh, Glaive Lord, get in that. And then everything's super easy until the 90s. And the 90s are just so much fun in this run. Um, finding out like the exact amount and optimizing it so the glaive lord can just barely beat the rounds while you're not spending a ton of money like i'm not gonna buy like two males just to beat the beat the uh, like zomgs leaking zomgs when i could spend like 20 minutes on the one round and beat it with just two uh spikes which only cost 100 actually yeah they would cost 110 dollars compared to 1400 dollars um so yeah just a little thing like that over all 10 of those rounds in the 90s it adds up and saves a lot of money um so that's pretty big on top of that this run was also just super super satisfying it was really cool just seeing the orbital glaives like just barely clip over into that perfect curve um behind that bench and just absolutely shredding everything that comes by and even, like, with barely spending anything and only having this one damage tower on an expert map, everything just got demolished. It, it was really cool. And using the ext the track extensions, too, to make everything loop around so it, it goes by the Glaive Lord's Glaive again just adds to it. So, yeah, um, I'm going to play some music and just enjoy the rest of this. It's super cool. You definitely should watch to the end. So, yeah, thanks for watching and bye.
the channel, you can check out these new videos, like and subscribe for more content, support the channel by becoming a member, and joining the Discord to chat with the community. Bye!